The offense really struggled yesterday, but got helped out by some really bad Detroit Tigers pitching. Today, they weren't so lucky. Except the Blue Jays didn't help themselves at all, as they could not, for the life of them, get a hit with runners in scoring position. And they lose the finale to the Detroit Tigers, 3-1 three three at Rogers Center, and fall to 8-5 and five on the season. Now, they do win the series, and they have won three consecutive series, which is great. But now, obviously, they welcome in the, the Tampa Bay Rays, who are still undefeated, which is crazy. But let's break down this game. Chris Bassett got the start for the Blue Jays, and I thought he was great. There were times where he was battling command, right? Only went six innings, but he threw over like almost 110 pitches. So he was, he was eating up a, a lot of pitches throughout the game, but he did a good job wiggling out of damage when he was there. The only real big problem he had was in that fifth inning where it was consistent hard contact. But at the top of the third inning, Nevin gets an, uh, gets a sack fly. In comes the catcher, Jake Rogers, and they get a 1-0 lead. But in the next half inning, with Biggio at third, Vladdy rips one up the middle for a base hit. In comes Kevin Biggio, a hit with runners in scoring position and two out, which has been a major issue so far this season. You tied the game at one. Great. And the top of the fifth inning, McKinstry hits an RBI double. Akil Badu comes in to score, and they get the lead back. It's 2-1. They have a chance there to get the, build it up to a 3-1 lead, but Bassett wiggles out of it, and it's still a 2-1 game. Now, I can't remember what, what inning it was. Was it the fifth, or was it the... Um, or was it the sixth inning where the Blue Jays had some major opportunity, some really big opportunity to break this game open and get back in it at the very least tie the ball game? I'm just trying to pull that up here. Uh, top, of, bottom of the uh, yeah, bottom of the fifth inning. George Springer had a single to right field to lead off the inning. Then Bo hit an infield single. Springer up to second. He ripped it off the umpire. Right? So, now we have guys at first and second, nobody out for Vladi Varsho and Alejandro Kirk. We, you're in good shape here. Third time through the order against a starter, you're in great shape. Vladi pops up. I believe Varsho struck out. I could be wrong about that. Maybe he just, Bottom line, all three guys got out and nothing doing. And that right there was the best chance the Jays had uh, the rest of the way. They could not capitalize whatsoever today with runners in scoring position other than Vladi single in the third. And then to add into it, uh, top of the eighth inning off a hanging breaking ball from Anthony Bass. Jake Rogers rips a double. Torkelson comes in to score, making it 3-1. It could have been a lot worse. At one point, I think it was the seventh inning where they had bases loaded, nobody out. It was a one out. Either way, it wasn't pretty. And Mesa was able to get out of it with no damage done. And I thought maybe that would have turned the tides, right? You, they could have broken that game wide open. They don't. It's still a 2-1 game. You smell blood. You can get back into it. The fans are jacked up again. They just couldn't get it done today. Now, these games do happen, but you can't let them linger. And that's that was the problem with years past, right? And you look at the way this Jays team has been this season. Sure, they had that well, that three-game losing streak early in the year where they lost the opener against the... It was the opener of the Angels? Yeah, I think it was the opener of the Angels. Anyways, but then they won three straight, lost one. Now they've won three straight, lost one. That's okay, but you got to bounce back, and you're not facing an easy team tomorrow. Offensively, team only had eight hits. It's just, it's not good enough, right? Nine strikeouts, one walk. Look, eight hits, should, my, I can't say should, it's not enough. It should be enough when you're playing the Detroit Tigers. However... Going into the series, the Jays have mashed double-digit hits basically, you know, all season long. And the Tigers, for some reason, barely allow eight hits today. You know what I mean? And and I, uh, Bo Bichette had the, with the, was the only guy with a multi-hit game, two for four. I think Vladi went one for three with a walk. Team struck out nine times, walked once. No Matt Chapman, no Kevin Kiermeyer today. Matt Chapman dealing with some uh, virus, ish, virus thing. That's what they said on the broadcast. I don't know if it's got COVID or what's going on there, but... Um, he wasn't in the lineup, but obviously that's a big hole for the team, but when one guy is down, the next guy needs to step up, especially against the Tigers, you didn't get that. Pitching-wise, look, Chris Bassett was awesome. You know, six innings pitched, only allowed the four hits, two runs, gave you the quality start, seven strikeouts, did walk three. He walked five in his last start against the Angels, walked three today, he was in a lot of three ball counts, a lot of three and twos we saw in the game, but again, battled. Six innings pitched, four hits, only two runs allowed. That should be enough to help this team win. It was not today. Adam Simber went a third of an inning, allowed a hit and a walk, and I, I can't remember if he allowed the um, the bases loaded. I'm actually going to find that here in the seventh inning. 
uh, top seven. So, so he walks, yeah. So he walks on. Uh, he walks McKinstry. Jake Rogers gets to uh, Fielder's Choice. He gets out. Oh, reaches on a Fielder's Choice. Excuse me. McKinstry to second. Then Nick Maton hits an RB uh, single. Then the bases loaded. Nobody out. And somehow, some way, they get nothing. Right out. At, uh, out at third. Fielder's Choice. Shell and Field. Nick Maton to second. Jake Rogers out at third. And then Mesa comes in, Riley Green, Fielder's Choice, and then Veerling flies out. And somehow they get out of that thing unscathed. So a good job by Mesa. Uh, Simber went a third of an inning, allowed a hit and a walk. Tim Mesa, two-thirds of an inning, no base runners, good stuff. Anthony Bass went an inning, allowed a couple hits, a run, and a strikeout. Look, he got burned on the hanging slider. It happened, right? And Trevor Richards, with a clean inning of work, had a strikeout in his one inning uh, of work there. But the Jays' offense couldn't get it done in this one. That's the story, right? You lose 3-1. Your offense couldn't get it done. But you move on. That's the game of baseball. You're going to have a stinker. You bounce back. And that's what good teams do. Now, speaking of good teams, you play the hottest team in all of baseball in the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, sure, their schedule hasn't been daunting. The Red Sox, the Oakland A's. uh, Who else did they play? I think it might have been, was it the Kansas City Royals they played? Let me actually quickly have a look at that one uh, while we're... While we're chatting here. So they play the Red Sox. They play the Oakland A's. The Nationals and the Tigers. That has been the start of their season. A lot of those teams will. Actually let me rephrase that. All of those teams will not even sniff a playoff spot this year. So sure. Everyone's thinking soft schedule. But they won 13 straight. Like there's no other way of looking at it. They have the best offense in baseball. They're crushing the baseball. Their pitching is insane. They're doing a hell of a job. The Jays. This is a big test. Can the Jays be that team to end that streak? But let's be honest. That's not the way Jay's mindset should be of, oh, we got to take at least one. And, 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 no, you're on home field, man. You want to win two or three. But it's not going to be easy. Drew Rasmussen gets the start for the, for the Tampa Bay Rays tomorrow, and he's facing off against Jose Barrios. It's a 707 first pitch at Rogers Center on the Friday night. And we all know what Barrios has done so far this season. Not great. Josh Fleming gets the ball in game two versus Yusei Kikuchi. That's at 307 at Rogers Center. Look, Yusei Kikuchi was good in his first outing. Got a little lucky at times. He's also playing KC. Uh, doesn't do too well against the Angels. Now you got to face the Red Hot Rays. What's going to happen? I don't know. And then the finale, you have a battle of the probably the opening day starters. Shane McClanahan versus Alec Manoa. That's at 137. But we all know Alec Manoa so far this year, other than that it started against KC, but again, it's KC, hasn't really been great. Now, you look at his resume, and it's a little weary in the sense of the big games he hasn't got it done, but so early in his career, I can't dwell on too much, right? The game, the wild card game, he wasn't great. Opening day against St. Louis, he wasn't great. And then the home opener, he wasn't great against Detroit. However, everything else, he's been phenomenal. So it's, that, that game against Tampa is one of those other games. So hopefully he dominates. But for the Blue Jays, you got to be able to get on your hit, hitting sticks because that team offensively, they're feeling it right now. They really are. But you know what the Tampa Bay Rays do? This is going to be a good series. The Jays just got to find a way to win two of three. You do that, hey, you know, you're doing a good job against your division already to start the season. That's the big thing. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, because a pretty pitiful one at that, smack that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game? For the Toronto Blue Jays, the Twitter and Instagram links are down below. So follow up there if you guys have not done so already. The Discord and TikTok links are down in the description as well. All right, so follow up all that stuff down, down below. And I'll talk to you guys... You know, I'm not even talking about the Raptors. I'll talk to you guys Leafs edition very shortly as the Leafs won their final game of the regular season against the Rangers in New York. So we'll talk about that very shortly. And as for the Blue Jays, like we said, they're back in action tomorrow night as they host the Tampa Bay Rays, the undefeated Tampa Bay Rays. It's go- uh, Nope, Rogers Center. 707 first pitch there. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not this game today. We'll talk to you guys then.